140 years ago today, an earthquake measuring nearly 7.0 in magnitude burst out of the Hayward Fault, killing 30 people. East Bay officials are using the anniversary to remind people that the fault is due for another major quake and we need to prepare. ABC 7's Amy Hollyfield is live at an elementary school in Fremont that's being used as an example of how to get ready. Amy? Eric, this school, St. Joseph's, is right on the fault. And so they've actually already had six drills this school year. They say they have to do that many because look where they're located. And they're also in an older building. And when you watch how well organized their drill is, it makes you want to work on your own earthquake plan. They've got it down to a science here. First, the, these kids, they do their duck and cover inside. Then when they get the all clear, they come out to the courtyard. They get a lanyard with their emergency contact information that they wear around their necks. Then they get... Uh, situated into alphabetical order so their parents can easily find them. Representatives from the USGS are here this morning to remind everyone that this fault has a major earthquake every 140 years. This is the 140th anniversary of a major quake, so they want this to serve as a reminder that we're due. It's good that we're trying to get prepared, and but I think that the school's already prepared, and uh, it's kind of scary thinking that there's going to be a major earthquake because there have been small ones before that I've been in, but I think we can handle it. Our intent is not to scare people, although earthquakes can be scary, I admit that. But what we want people to do is realize that an earthquake could happen any time. And what do you do? Well, you can prepare. And you've probably heard all those tips before, such as making sure your family has all of the emergency phone numbers ready to go. But the seismologist summed it up nicely for me today. He said, be prepared to live on your own for about three days. That's how long it could take for emergency crews to reach you, for mass transit to start running again. So look around you. Do you have everything you'd want for the next few days? Do you like what you see? If not, you need to make some changes. And the Red Cross estimates that only about 25% of us are ready for the big one. Reporting live in Fremont, Amy Hollyfield, ABC 7 News. Amy, thank you.